Okay, let's talk Python and more specifically, three project ideas related to trading. Completing projects are an awesome way to grow your skills. Projects help you outline a task, put yourself through technical challenges to complete it, and allows you to actually build something useful and learn while doing it. You can then take that project and make it into a product and sell it, or use it on your resume for a career. Professional resume, athletic and special skills resume, and Dwight Schrute trivia. So let's get started and talk about three Python projects related to trading. So idea number one is a trading journal. Track your investments or trades and get analytics and reports based on performance of your brokerage account. So how would you build this? First, you need to find a way to export your trades either to a CSV or Excel worksheet or see if your brokerage has an API to programmatically retrieve the trades. You will need the profit or loss per trade and ideally the date and time that it occurred. Once you figure that out, you need to use Python to extract those trades and store them in a list or a database. For example, if you're able to export your trades to a CSV file, you can use the CSV module in Python to read the CSV file and then store into a list by using the reader function. Once it's in a list, you can do some cool calculations with it, like calculating the net profit, the max drawdown, or even more complex mathematics like the Sharpe ratio. For example, to calculate the total net profit, you would just add up the profit column in your list. Now, this is a very base level example. You can get more in depth by adding user interface and charting out your net profit with dates, calculating more trade analytics, and maybe having a report card in the user interface using Python and Flask on the web. See my Python trading bot interface video that I did previously for some more inspiration and creative methods of creating a user interface with a trading dashboard. Idea number two is reading stocks from a scanner. There's a lot of powerful software out there like TradingView and Trade Ideas that have scanners or screeners where you can filter multiple stocks or other assets like crypto and Forex based on your custom preset filters. You can filter on stuff like market cap or a simple moving average if it's crossing above a value. Super powerful stuff. What if we could build a Python tool that took those scan results and made trades on them? So how would we build this? Well, first, it obviously depends on the scanner, but I would research if the scanner or screener has an API attached to it. In most cases, it doesn't, and we have to go another route. For example, with the default TradingView screener, I found a free GitHub project where you can retrieve any asset from TradingView, think stocks, forex, crypto, futures, and you can retrieve multiple symbols with buy and sell ratings as well as indicators. You could then take that data and use it for your own trading systems to place trades or showcase that data as a sentiment analysis on your own website using Python and Flask. What's really cool about going the scanner route is you're building some awesome technology where you're getting instant diversification because every new day or whatever your interval is, you're getting new stocks or, or new assets that are scanned. So you're getting that built in. The downside is that it's harder to backtest because to backtest scanned stocks, you would have to go back in time and find the date that it was scanned and then test the closing price with your entry. So it's a bit tougher to backtest and maybe it's something you wanna run in a simulation or paper account for a long time, you know, three to six months to see if your scanner solution is actually working. Once you get the results from this TradingView scanner GitHub API, you can then use say Interactive Brokers or Alpaca to submit trades with their own Python APIs. That's the awesome thing about APIs is it allows you to connect to another source of code and interact with your own, thus allowing for unlimited customization. Idea number three is your personal expense dashboard. Have you ever wanted to know how much you're spending per month, how much you're saving per month, how much could you make next month with a forecast? This can all be built with Python in your own personal expense dashboard. So how would we build this? Just like idea number one, the trading journal, first we need to find a way to export our deposits and withdrawals in our bank account. Usually with most banks through their web portal, you can export to a CSV or Excel worksheet. Usually banks don't have an API where you can access your personal information. So just simply export it to an Excel or CSV file. Then once again, we'd use Python to read that file using the CSV module and the reader function, convert that to a list, and now we have a list of our expenses, right? We have a list of deposits and withdrawals. Withdrawals will obviously be an expense and deposit will be income. Usually with each of those transactions, there is a date associated with that. So we can calculate how much we're bringing in per month and how much we're spending per month. 
Then something cool we can do is use machine learning to forecast how much we're going to bring in the next month or spend the next month. For example, we could use the SK forecast library found in Python to forecast our expenses for the next month. We could even forecast our income as well. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to try one of these ideas or if, if you have an idea that I missed. I always love to hear what you guys say and what you're learning in Python. I'm going to try building one of these projects myself and probably share it in a future video. I've already done the Python personal expense dashboard in my previous video, but maybe I'll try the trading journal. I think a lot of people would like to see how that's built and how it works. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see that. And with that being said, have a good week, guys. Bye.